This is going to be your guide to getting cooking recipes in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Method 1. Visit the villagers inside their homes. So much like when you see them crafting at a crafting table and they give you a crafting recipe, yeah, all you have to do is talk to them while they're cooking at the kitchen, and then you can get a recipe that way. So depending on how much you care about your villagers and check up on them, you may or may not know that this is a really good way of getting recipes. So just like that, we learn something. And it gives us the recipe card, so we have to, you know, go into our inventory, use it, and if not, then we can trade it with other players or store it or something I don't know but now that is how we make salad de carrot yeah something I don't know I don't speak French another way to get learnable recipe cards is through Capin. so it costs 1,000 nook miles and you can only explore one island per day but if you land on a produce island the message in a bottle will have a recipe and that's where things get a little tricky because produce islands are fairly uncommon. I wouldn't say they are rare, but it can take a couple of tries to get it, and once per day does kind of create a bit of a predicament. This time we got a bamboo island, so no new recipe to learn. However, it's still really fun to explore mystery islands, and Captain's Islands are really cool because you can get off-season islands compared to the game time that you have, and there's just a lot of resources to gather and things to explore, but this is where we just time skip, you know, save the game. So my recommendation is to do your dailies and then maybe go for some of those double Nook Mile rewards as well. Visit Captain's Island and then see what you get. If it's a produce island, you're good to go. If not, you can gather some of the resources, save on the island, and then go for a time skip. Since Nintendo isn't against time skipping, you really don't have a reason to be against it as well. Then you just kind of rinse and repeat. This can be pretty tedious, this can take a while, but at least, like I said, the uh, islands themselves are pretty cool so you can get that incentive involved. But it does make sense for some of the new cooking recipes to be a bit hard to get, so that's just the way it is. And also, if you're, like, resetting, depending on time of day, you can visit all of your villagers and then see if they're at their kitchen. And then maybe you can get a recipe that way. So you can get a couple of recipes per day, depending on what you're doing and how you're doing it. Next. Nook's Cranny. Now, the first thing you should do after unlocking the ability to cook is go to Nook's Cranny and then get the basic cooking recipe. So you actually get a good amount of recipes for a couple thousand bells. Now, it is a one-time purchase. There's not going to be any, like, rotating stock of recipes. So you grab this once and you're good to go. Also, people are saying that as they shoot down balloons on their island with a slingshot, there's a chance they can get cooking recipes inside of that. So there's a couple of ways and a couple of methods of getting these cooking recipe items. But now we can also to talk about inspiration and that's where cooking is going to get complicated the new animal crossing update has over 250 diy and cooking recipes added into the game now fortunately this is not 200 cooking recipes and there's like some overlap and some really similar items so we can like build things off of the new items so captain's island can bring you to a place that has glowing moss you can build a suspicious cauldron with that when you get the recipe and then just like counter spaces and countertops for your new kitchen setup for your house so yeah like fortunately it's not all recipes then you just find random stuff for random recipes and that brings us to the biggest way of getting recipes in the new update and that is fishing when you catch a fish if there is a recipe for that cooked fish you will learn that recipe on the spot so horse mackerel anchovy sea bass so now sea bass have a use since you can use them in cooking and then all kinds of other crazy stuff so as you can see there's a lot of just like new diy crafting but then just tons of recipes in general a few of these you get from Nook's Cranny as well as learning how to cook in the first place like with the brown sugar but then you're going to have to discover the rest, rest of these recipes on your own and I don't know how many there are so I haven't seen any information about the exact amount at this point and how to get them specifically so yeah the most straightforward ones are going to be fish but as you can see from earlier on when I talked to the villager it's like yeah we can get all kinds of crazy stuff and I've even discovered a few recipes from Captain's Islands so welcome to the grind once again okay we caught a football fish i'm not expecting to learn any kind of recipe from that boom caught a c plus bass hmm i can cook something with this fish yeah got a recipe for a sea bass pie so that's that's how it is guys and the cool crazy thing is i've already had like some other recipes just randomly learned throughout this so i don't know what triggers that either 
So yeah, these are the recipes I already have unlocked. We just got the sea bass pie. I got this at the beginning of the video. The mushroom salad and mushroom pottage, I got this from the Captain Islands. And then the rest were already here or something like, I don't know where the grilled sea bass with herbs came from. I guess it might be some kind of starter recipe. If you have it, cool. If you don't, then I don't know. We also got some carrot recipe, tomato curry, pumpkin bagel sandwich, seaweed soup, nochi and cherry smoothie now the cherry smoothie i think that was just from like my island start at the beginning of the game where it's like hey grab some fruit and then we can celebrate our first day on the island so that's that and then a carrot cake brown sugar cupcake tomato puree then organic bread bread seems pretty straightforward and of course with the recipe cards you can trade them with other players but i have no idea how much of a mess that is right now the update just came out hacking is already super prevalent in the animal crossing community so i don't know if you can even trust the recipes that you're getting and also people are going to be charging crazy prices because it is a little tricky to get some of these recipes and no one really knows like how to get them reliably or also which ones are like the most desirable and stuff so yeah you can just see random recipes going for crazy prices prices but as it stands right now that's what we have and it's mostly going to be about the future you know waiting for the data mine waiting for the full list waiting for all of the acquisition and stuff but yeah that's uh that's what we got and i just found static making some snack bread so it looks like even very basic recipes are the ones you're going to be getting from your villagers and probably from balloons or from captain's islands so even if something looks really simple like coconut oil this is probably how you're going to end up with it. So after some experimentation, that kind of seems like it's it, regardless of how basic the recipe is. So check your villagers, check your Captain Island, and then hope for the best. So tell me what you think in the comments down below. How do you feel about all of this cooking stuff? I think cooking is pretty cool, but it seems like there's a lot of just random recipes and a lot of weird ways of getting them, and I don't like that you have to catch fish again so the people that have already like you know filled out the museum and like caught all their fish and stuff well it seems like you have to catch the fish again to learn the recipe boom horse mackerel do we actually get something there yep so yeah it seems like you just have to catch all the fish over again that's the uh, ashy fry that we were talking about earlier on uh that seems season I, I hope it's not for seasonal fish but i'm pretty sure that like seasonal fish are gonna be included that seems like the worst part of this so far, I've picked up a couple of the starters as well. I found potatoes on a Cap'n Island, and getting my first potato didn't, like, get me any recipes learned. Same thing for sugar canes. So There's, like, randomly picking a crazy amount of produce doesn't seem to do anything. Uh, so comment down below, like, how you've been getting recipes, what you think the best method of getting recipes is. I feel like the best method is going to be time skip, visit villagers, learn recipes from them, check Cap'n, and that's kind of it, aside from buying from other players but like i said that seems dubious at best right now and then i guess you just go fishing but the best way of tackling that is like when a list comes out of like all these specific recipes and like the ways you get them or the most likely ways you can obtain them so until all of that happens like this is kind of it this is just how you run around collect recipes do some cooking it doesn't seem like there's too much of a crazy benefit to learning all of the recipes or making a lot of food except for maybe cashing in some nook miles and that seems like it's everything. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Hope you all have a nice day. Thank you very much for watching.